Hey y'all, so I'm in the gym trying to record this. I'm on a treadmill getting my steps in, you know, trying to be summertime fine. So I may have to re-record this depending on how it sounds on the replay. But I was able to watch um, Love and Mary Trunksville. You know, on YouTube, the plug, like, oh, I found like some YouTube channel that posted the episode before it even premiered. But nevertheless, I wanted to get some thoughts out before I forget later. But yes, y'all, this episode was pretty good, pretty decent. I'll give it like a 7, 8 if I had to rate it. But the main thing I wanted to say before I forget, before it slips my mind is that if Kimmy wants to believe her man, her husband, so be it. I feel like they, like that group, the group of women keep telling her to stay woke, keep her eyes open. It's kind of in vain. I said this before, you cannot tell a woman, Ursula will say it perfectly, you cannot tell a woman about a man she likes, and that goes for a man that she's married to. It's just not gonna work. If anything, they're gonna grow stronger because they feel like they need to band together so they're not proving anybody right. So at this point, I feel like there's nothing wrong with Kimmy believing her man. If she asked Maurice straight up, did you cheat? Was you messed with the linebacker? He told her no and she believes that, I feel like, what else more can we do? You know, at this point, just leave it alone. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with her believing her man, regardless of what the evidence says. She wants to do that, then so, you know, when it's, it's her choice to look over it or accept it, that's just her choice. So I feel like, I understand where the ladies are coming from, but leave it alone. Leave it alone, let her be in her bliss and, Forget it, you know, let her move on with the situation because I'm kind, I'm kind of tired of it being brought up as well. Anyway, other than that, I thought the episode was really good. The ladies look good. Okay, do y'all like Atisha's green confessional look? Because I actually think it's cute. I know people on their Twitter were saying that they didn't like it, but I actually like her little green look and the eyeshadow and the velvet, crushed velvet outfit. I don't know, I think it's cute, but let me know what y'all think. Other than that, I'm trying to think what else is going on. Uh, Martel and his uh, <laughs> calendar shoot. Martel is very photogenic. I will give him that. He do look good in those photos. Or maybe it's the photography, the lighting, whatever. But those photos look really good. Um, what else happened? Miss Wanda asking Marcel about his secret apartment. Again, I like Marcel though. I like his, I know people say he gaslights, but I like, his explanation sounded good to me. He never said that he was gonna be transparent. And if he did have a secret apartment, why would he tell Miss Wanda? Look now, I mean, I don't know, I just can't be mad at people that keep it straight up. It is what it is. <laughs> if you ain't see nothing, then I ain't do nothing. They're those kind of people. He would be good in like a, a interrogation, a police interrogation. Like, I feel like he ain't snitching. He ain't giving up nothing. He really know how to answer questions. So, at the end of the day, again, I feel like leave it alone. He gave y'all the answer. Let it go. Breathe, stretch, shake. Let it go. So, that's that. And, um, who else? Y'all, I don't know how I feel about this Stormy girl. I don't know if I like her like that. I feel like she cusses a lot. And I'm pretty sure people on the show cuss, but I, I don't remember it being this many blurts out of cuss words in the episode before. I could be wrong, but that Stormy Lady cussed entirely too much for me. <laughs> and not to say I can't be around people that cuss, but I'm like, I don't know why I just noticed that in particular. And I feel like she wanted to be in a mix too much. Like, lady, relax. So that's one thing I ain't like, I'm not quite sure how I feel about her yet. But she male friend, she's an entrepreneur. So you know I'm all for that. Kudos to her. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this episode so far. I gotta go back and watch it. See if there's anything else I wanted to pick out in particular. My other than that, let me know what y'all think. And go ahead and get your steps in. You know, I don't wanna be the only one out of breath on the treadmill. <laughs> so after this, I'm gonna do my cool down and then get on the stair step. 
I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. So yeah, I know y'all didn't think that's all I had to say. I had to come back home, get in my space, and come back and talk to you guys more about everything else. Now that now that I have processed the episode a little bit more, went on Twitter, seen what people had to say, read a few comments. So now let us get into it. So number one, um, numero uno, like I'm glad I wasn't the only one that felt like Tisha is serving this season. She is looking cute to me when she was up there with it was her mom. And Marcel and she had that little purple and then she had like that kinky natural hair look like you know I like looks like that she looks so pretty to me and I, I mean she just looked like a brown Barbie doll like ooh like I don't know but she looked really really good so I wanted to say that I think for the most part everybody's looking good in their confessional look look at that look what money do but no seriously but I also did want to come back on here and talk about Stormy what do y'all feel about her I don't really, I don't know if I like her like that. Like I said before, I feel like she be in the mix too much. Um, She's, she's doing, she understands the assignment of reality TV, I believe. But at the same time, I feel like just kind of calm down. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about her, but we'll see as the season goes along. But right now, I'm not getting a great impression. But other than that, we also got to talk about Tisha's cousin. Mm. They smile up in your face. Oh, I want to take your place. Those backstabbers. Backstabbers. Like, uh, I don't know how I could be like, <laughs> I understand that they're family, but I would keep my distance from her if I was Tisha after seeing everything that I seen. Because it's more so like, do you, do you care more about family or are you trying to be, you care more about TV? Because family shouldn't do that. Family shouldn't go and talk about going talk about another family member to someone that thinks that they're an enemy. You know, if you think my cousin's an enemy, then I might as well be an enemy. Um, unless you really don't like your cousin like that. <laughs> you know, that could be a possibility. Maybe teach we we'll, we we'll wanna see what else we what else comes out of that pajama party or what else comes out of male um Tisha's cousin in Tisha but right now it's not looking good for Tisha's cousin I mean mm, I don't know if I'll be able to uh really trust her to sing I would forgive her but trust her I don't know you know I'll probably keep her at a distance because it's almost like where's your loyalty sis like is it with family or someone else make a choice and also I noticed a lot of people feel like Tisha uses her mom as her mouthpiece and I would have to agree. Everything that Miss Wanda was saying was basically everything that Tisha wanted to say. And I don't understand why she just feel like she can't say it. I mean, I guess I do understand. Usually when you don't want to speak up, it's because you don't want to rock the boat or like maybe the person um, has some sort of, I don't know, influence or can pull the strings in your life or something. It's, it's just somehow you look at them in a high position and you don't feel comfortable speaking your mind but that's like a little confusing because i feel like after 15 years of them being married she should be comfortable enough to say what she truly feels like she needs to say um I'm, he didn't have no problem talking about her saying what he had to say and how her family came from a, the other side of the tracks did he have any filter when he said that no he didn't so i feel like she should feel comfortable saying what she needs to say as well of course in a respectful manner but you don't have to get your mom involved because now you know if, if marcel come at her if marcel comes at miss wanda the wrong way it's gonna make tisha feel a certain type of way so it's best that she just speaks up and free herself say what she needs to say to marcel ask him straight up even though you know we all know he's gonna say now now tisha why would you ask him like that if i really had x y and z did it you know he going this been it in a rhetorical way but so what you still ask and get to the bottom of it but other than that what did y'all feel about this episode it did keep my interest on the treadmill i'm trying to tell y'all when i was on the treadmill watching it i was like oh okay that's not gonna get any steps in because i'm entertained now i was doing a steady state cardio i want y'all to think that was like running or anything like that just you know a little light job just to get myself back into the groove of things but yes it was um it kept my attention i i may have to do that going forward um just watch something because let me tell y'all at planet fitness and probably at y'all planet fitness 
all they did was show the news. Ain't nobody trying to see all that. I've seen so much calamity in the world, and I know that that's the world we live in, but at the same time, I've seen like these men and their dogs attack a cat, but you know, they blurred it out. And I'm like, what is wrong with people? And they kept showing that and showing it, and it just made me sad. And of course, we've seen everything that's going on with the news and what's going on with other countries abroad and stuff. And it it's just can be a lot. Why don't gyms show weight loss transformation or people actually in the gym on TV or how to diet, how to eat, pick out fruits and vegetables? I would much rather see that than the news 24 seven while I'm there. So this time that I was able to watch the show was good. But look, what I'm gonna do tomorrow when I go to the gym? I just gotta find something else to watch, but yeah other than that let me know what y'all think thank you for listening to my little rant i, ha- I just had to tell somebody because i need people to know how i feel but anyway let me know what y'all think about this episode of love and marriage huntsville i think i'm gonna start going live like maybe we'll do like a live on uh, talk about the show i'm gonna do a poll and see what you guys think but other than that we will talk again soon bye So the thing is, I'm not saying that men are not the prize, but stop putting men as a prize in your mind. Stop putting men on a pedestal in your mind. Stop feeling like you're nobody until somebody wants you. No, you are somebody, you are worthy, you are wanted, you are desired.